there's a village over there somewhere. Look at this. The greenery all around me and quite the location for a garden. Look how peaceful this is here. Down past the cow. Single track trails like this. I am about to drop in elevation. <laughs> oh my goodness. All the way down to the river. down to this little village called Ituolo. Like tres horas, no! <laughs> yeah, that's steep. There's my road across the river. And then he just smiled real big and he just puts his fist out. He's like, listo! We laughed. And we'll see how much farther I have till the village. Smile by smile. Older Kirchhoa lady. Beautiful eucalyptus forest here. Buenas tardes. Como estas? But look at that path. And he just had the most beautiful smile. I love being off the beaten path. And look at this. this <laughs> I don't think many people walk this one. Exploring the unknown, the Ecuadorian Central Highlands. Imagine a peak there erupting. I actually stood on top of that one there and zigzagged down to the basin of the river again. If you're ready for a stunning solo hike along Shire-like trails, join this adventure vlog across the Andes Mountains of Ecuador. My name is Zachary, and I've adventured across 40 countries, but I've never seen village trails like this. I invite you to trek with me to experience the simplicity of nature therapy together. I believe this immersive experience off the beaten path will inspire more joy in your heart by the end. How long will it take to find the next village? Where will I sleep tonight? Keep watching to join the adventure. It is another glorious day to be trekking through the Andes Mountains of Ecuador. I was walking down the road heading to a town and I talked to some locals and they said there's a a trail that goes down to the river and over. So this is the trail that I'm beginning on uh, from the plateau that I'm on. And it's just gonna drop down there. I think down to the river and off to the other side. And there's a village over there somewhere. That's where I'm trying to get to today. They said three to four hours. And me dilly-dallying and taking pictures of flowers and plants and getting video for you all probably five hours <laughs> but it's a beautiful day to travel i have water in my water bottle and i have a packed lunch and this will be another adventure in the andes here we go oh i hope this is the right way there's a y in the trail hmm they didn't tell me which way to go well i think they both lead to the same place here we go <laughs> adventure it includes the word going into the unknown well, and right away, there's a sight to behold. Look at this. It's like a sandstone of some kind. Fields in the background. That's pretty sweet. This kind of reminds me of walking through the Shire. Look at this beautiful green path that I'm walking upon. The greenery all around me and the local villagers out in their fields. They're a little taller than hobbits though. <laughs> but the, uh, the atmosphere is definitely here. On the side of the trail here, looks like there's a whole vine of cucumbers just growing on the side next to these other aloe-like plants. And then over here, looks like villagers have planted corn there. I see some peas over here, like some type of green beans all mixed in. Quite the location for a garden. Oh, this is so much better than walking the road. Look how peaceful this is here.
so glad there were some locals here and I asked the village name. They said, down past the cow. So here we go. <laughs> this is the trail. Oh, and this guy, he's trying to trip me. Look at that. Intentionally putting your rope across the trail. Hmm. Think that's gonna stop me? <laughs> oh, I love farm animals. And I love single track trails like this. So according to a satellite image of this area, I am about to drop in elevation. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, indeed, I am. There's the canyon and my trail begins to descend all the way down to the river. Ah, oh, it's just so serene here. down to this little village called Ituolo, probably pronouncing it wrong again, as I do all these names. <laughs> and there's no signs to Rontolo. So I went over, found a nice lady who was washing some clothes. And she said, this way, there's no trail up there. You gotta walk this dirt road that switchbacks up to the top up there. So here we go. Now to go up. How's this for a school setting? Sounds like school is in session. There are a bunch of little ones inside. walked by these two men standing beside their cob house looked like they were taking a break from working in the field and I was like de esta manera Guantalo there's a little village I'm trying to get to this way and uh, I said si si tres horas no mas I'm like tres horas no <laughs> they were pulling my leg saying it's gonna be you know up to three hours long but I know the other lady is like oh, an hour hour and a half so we shall see. I think they were just having fun with me and we had a good chuckle together. But here's the path that I'm taking. Oh, let's see, I have to pop over here. Ah, there's the river. Beautiful. There's my road across the river. And then switch backing up that. Yeah, that's steep. And I'm still at like 10,000 feet elevation. Oh, I take that back. I just looked at... Uh, my elevation and I'm at 9,080 feet. So definitely been falling down. Let me get all the way down to 9,000 feet and then back up to 10,000 feet. It's 
probably what it's going to be. <laughs> that guy's a character. You see him walking up there. So he's going back up to a different village that way. He was on the phone with his wife and he just started walking beside me. And we just strike up a conversation and he doesn't speak any English. And so we're just talking with what I know and he's asking how I learned. And I'm just like, escuchar, just listening to Spanish. And uh, he's asking if it's difficult to learn English. And he was just laughing and we were just having the best time. And uh, his name is Luis. And I told him who I am, where I'm from. And, and then he just smiled real big and he just puts his fist out. He's like, listo. So I don't know what listo means, but something like something. <laughs> it was great. So I just responded. We laughed. He's hiking up that way. I'm hiking up that way. That is a beautiful sight right there. And you have the Kirtras just on the hillside harvesting something green. You have the cattle grazing there and you have some corn growing on the side of the hill there. The locals living off the land. I need a moment to take a breather here, rest in a bit of shade. Did you know that the type of tree behind me is not native to Ecuador? And guess is what these are? It's got the paper bark that peels off, tall, real long leaves like that. It's a eucalyptus tree. And guess where it came from? Of all the places in the world, of all the continents, eucalyptus was brought over to Ecuador in the early 2000s from Australia. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that when I read that. They're all over Ecuador now. And they see it as a relatively invasive species because it sucks up so much water. You can see, I mean, they grow super, super tall. And uh, man, it smells good though. I take some leaves, crunch it up, I throw it in my pocket. And uh, just aromatherapy while hiking in the Andes. After a little South American siesta and a quick snack back on the road, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know if it sounded like unfortunately, fortunately, I have a bit more cloud cover now. Look at that view. So I'm feeling refreshed. There's a bit of a breeze blowing. Hope it doesn't turn into rain. And we'll see how much farther I have till the village. It's a steep road when your lungs are winded and you look down see where you came from and I'm on one road and there's the second and there's the third and there's the fourth and there's the fifth <laughs> all switchbacks 
back and forth to get from the river to the top of the plateau up here. I'm getting there, step by step, breath by breath, smile by smile. <laughs> I just had a sweet older Kirtra lady tell me to come up this way. There's one plateau, with some beautiful fields on it, and uh, this little single path trail here. She said only 20 minutes left to Gondola. So that also makes me smile. I'm walking through this beautiful eucalyptus forest here, but I'm beginning to question what I read. I don't see how this many eucalyptus trees could be here from the early 2000s from Australia. So one of you want to do some research, put in the comments what's truly accurate. It's, I mean, I'm guessing they're from Australia if I read something as crazy as that, but maybe it was the 50s or 60s or something. So that'd be a fun fact for us all to learn. Drop it in the comments. Oh, and look ahead. Here's my path ahead. And I am wishing I had what this man had. Look at that. Oh, he's pointing me in the right direction. That's good. Hola. Buenas tardes. Como estas? Cuanto hola? Cuanto hola? Up here. Si, si. Gracias. Mucho gusto. Si. <laughs> Ciao. There we go. I've confirmed that Ecuadorian grandmas are superheroes because they can walk places far faster than I can. She said 20 minutos, 20 minutes. It's been well over that. I'm on, well, this is like off the beaten path. <laughs> There's a couple Y's in the road. I may have taken a wrong path, but I'm loving this trail. And I'm quite certain the village is over the top of this mountain here. So I'm gonna keep going up, but look at that path. Isn't that just picturesque? And there we go, look at this. So a shout out to Ecuadorian grandmas with legs of steel and lungs of steel. Is that what you say? I don't know what you say. Amazing lungs, better than mine. I'm sure I'm back over 10,000 feet again. And I'm not used to that. Okay, I just have to give a shout out to Ecuadorian grandpas too, because just passed by one over there, resting in the grass. And he's all the way up here too. And he just had the most beautiful smile, missing many teeth. He was just so happy to see me. Oh no, he just wanted to chit chat. And, oh, I love being off the beaten path. And look at this. this <laughs> I don't think many people walk this one. This is uh, exploring the unknown of the Ecuadorian Central Highlands at its finest, in my opinion. I set my faithful boundary bag down, give my shoulders a break, finished off my water. Finished off the rest of my snacks for today's hike. And this is a perfect spot to take a break because I think this is gonna be the best panorama of the day. Now, I want you to imagine that there used to be a peak because that was Kilotoa Laguna. The lake is down in the bottom. That's what it's called now. But it was the volcano that erupted and if I have my history right, it was 800 years ago. Imagine a peak there erupting 
and then all of that mountain that was up on top and down inside that crater is now laying across this entire landscape. And it was just ash and real fine. And so you can see over the last 800 years or however long it is, the rains and the water has eroded all of these canyons coming off of the crater now. Unbelievable. So I started this trek on the other side of that knoll right there. I actually stood on top of that one there. It was 12,800 feet. And we trekked down the more adventurous path down to Guayana San Pedro, which I'm guessing is in that valley in that area. Stayed there because I loved it. Planted some wheat and some vegetables. I think it was barley was the other grain. And yeah, I had an amazing time with the family there. And then hiked around that and then had to drop down into the canyon all the way back into there. And I think it was around 9,000 feet there. And then back up to this site over here, the Chuk was 10,300 feet. And I stayed two nights there and I have a video about Black Sheep Inn. It's right there. That was an amazing spot. And today, it was just continuing down the road and through a couple little villages. And let's see, came all the way over to here and zigzagged down to the basin of the river again to what was it called? Tolua or something like that little village there. And then along the river and then zigzagging all the way up this ridge line to here. And I'm on one final stretch here. And the sun just came out. Oh boy. I'll get one final sweat in here at the end of today's hike and up and over the knoll. If you want to see what is on the other side of that, then I'll just say subscribe to this channel. Thank you for your grace and your patience watching this whole heart of the Huli trekking through the central highlands of the Andes in Ecuador for the first time. See you all in the next video.